I'm Dr. Deborah Davis from Pittsburgh Center for Environmental Oncology. And today I want to talk to you about why we know that cell phone signals are absorbed deeply into the brain. Studies have been done that have modeled how the phone gets into the, to the brain. They've been done by the cell phone industry, and here's what we know. When you hold a phone up to your ear, you are, of course, exposing the hearing nerve, indicated here in this model of the skull. But we also know from other studies that have been done by the cell phone industry that the phone signals are absorbed very deeply into the brain, and you see here they're absorbed much more deeply into the head of a five-year-old than they are into the head of an adult. Now, nobody knows what this will mean for the long term, but we do understand this. Our brains control every part of our lives, our breathing, our thinking, our feeling, whether we are alive. And the long-term consequences of nine out of 10 adults using cell phones is something nobody can tell us about at this point. But new studies from Sweden just released last week at the Royal Society by Professor Leonard Hardell, a distinguished oncologist from Sweden, have found that those who began using cell phones before age 20 have five times more brain cancer by the time they reach their late 20s. This is, of course, very worrisome. That is why we don't want to wait for more proof on this issue. We want to take simple precautions to reduce our exposure to cell phones while we continue to study the problem. And the Center for Environmental Oncology website has information about how you can use cell phones more safely. For that information, please look at preventingcancernow.org. Thank you. I'm Dr. Deborah Davis.